Hello guys, welcome to this session by By The Way It's Cloud. We all know how DevOps is important nowadays. Pretty much every big company is moving on to adopt DevOps, so it's high time to learn and understand DevOps. Well, I'll tell you how you can become a DevOps engineer. I know there are a lot of questions like how to start with DevOps, what tools to study, from where we can have the tutorials, how to start and many more. So I've come up with a guide stating all the things required to learn on this journey to DevOps. I'll let you know the order, the things required and the recommended courses. Before we get into that, make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future update. Well, you must be aware the root of DevOps lies in Linux only. So the first topic that you need to learn is about Linux because everything in DevOps strictly requires Linux. Well, I'll tell you like what are the topics that you need to do focus on the system access and file system. You should know how we can access to a machine and like what are file systems, how they are based in Linux then what are the different fundamentals the fundamental actually involves you know the different commands that are required in daily operations of a devops guy in system administration to manage machines either it's an on-premise solution or like it's a cloud-based solution so system administration is most required then shell scripting well a devops guy usually has tasks where he need to automate the things by writing scripts because it's it become tedious and it will require a lot of time to do the same task on a daily basis then you should be aware about networking the servers and system updates in the last i'll say like disk management is the thing and uh, you should know about the run levels well i have a course that i have you know found and i have you know myself studied as well it's a course available on you know udemy that's created by mr imran afzal I can say it's the best course available over Udemy of this, you know, Linux training there. They have all those sections that I have, you know, told you to study. Moving on, the next thing we should all know are the web servers. Well, I am telling you all these things that are required to become a DevOps engineer or to get a DevOps job is in a order that I have thought and written. So it's about web servers. So web servers are like, you know, main part of any ID infrastructure because whenever you are trying to access the infrastructure, you know, over a browser or over any other thing, like whether it's an API server or whether it's an application server, then web servers are always required. So we have, you know, two web servers in the market that are frequently used. One is Nginx and other one is the Apache. I'll personally recommend to learn Nginx because it's mostly used in the market in many of the organizations you can also learn apache but if you are you know starting with devops journey i'll recommend to go for nginx for this nginx course i have come across a great course created by mr zeel vora that's available on udemy for a few bucks you can have a look because in this nginx course you will get to know all the things that are required by a devops guy for nginx Next thing that comes is the version control systems because in every organization because we have a lot of guys that are working on the same project we have a lot of developers so version control is is very much required so I'll recommend to start learning git while well, git is the most used tool in version control stream in many of the IT organization there are other tools available as well but if you are starting as a beginner I'll recommend you to learn git there are you know various tutorials available on udemy or other tutorial platforms but there is one course that i come across on youtube that's written by code with harry and i can say it's the best course available on youtube so you can go through this it's available for free the next thing that comes are the database well a devops guy cannot be called a devops until unless he knows 
some something about database so we should you know cover two kinds of database at least one database from each category that's one from structured database and other one from non structured database i'll say to go for mysql in the structured one and to go for mongodb in the non structured one well you should know how to configure mongodb how to install it how to create replication how to create master slave configuration how to do sharding well these are the you know the basic task that a devops guy should know and for the mysql as well for these two i don't think any tutorial or anything is required you just go to the documentation that's available on both the websites of these databases and it's a very easy process to configure all those things as per the requirement moving on we have monitoring tools well in every organization a devops guy always takes care of the infrastructure things like what are the cpu values what are the ram values then the different services that are running on the different application they need to monitor they need to monitor the ports and all those things you have a choice you know to go for zabbix then i'll say to go for nagios in the nagios and the zabbix section you can opt anyone because it's not at all required to go for both of these things because whatever the monitoring tool is the basics remain the same so just opt anyone so zabbix is like it's a very old tool and it's widely used in the monitoring space you can also go for nagios so both you know the paid version and the free versions are available for both and the most important is the elk stack because nowadays it's widely used and seriously it's a very good tool to do multiple tasks starting from setting up a central logging platform where you can monitor all the logs that are being collected from the different servers then you can utilize the different plugins available with elasticsearch this elk stack you know to even monitor the infrastructure to monitor the different values so elk is a must to go and for all these three tools i i won't recommend any course just go to the documentations that are available and you can easily understand and will get to know how to configure them moving on the next part are the build tools well that's very much required whatever the stack is maybe you have java applications or node js based applications or some other stack based application but in some cases you need build tools like in java you need maven so you have maven ant and gradle so at least learn any one of these three and for these three just go to the documentation and learn the basic procedures like how to create a build and how to install them and all those things well these includes a series of commands that's it the next thing that comes is the virtualization so virtualization is the latest topic that is trending in the it industry so you must have heard about docker so docker is a widely used tool and it is now becoming a fashion learn docker start from the scratch and i have a very good recommendation for this a one course is available on udemy by mumshad and that's i'll say if you just go through it you'll definitely like it so go for this docker for the absolute beginner moving on we have ci tools that are required in continuous integration i'll highly recommend to go for jenkins because it's widely used in the market well there are other tools available as well but i'll prefer to go for jenkins since we are starting the devops journey it would be good to go for the more widely used tool available then i have a course that's available on udemy that's a devops project ci cd with jenkins ansible and kubernetes if you can you know complete this project i think you'll be good to go then we have you know deployment and configuration management tool this is like on the automation part so we have ansible we have puppet and chef so it's not required to learn all the three i'll recommend to go for any one of them personally i feel ansible is the good one so go for ansible i have a course which i want to recommend you that's available on udemy mastering ansible by chris learns forward and that's seriously a very good course covering all the topics required by a devops guy moving on we have cloud administration skills because nowadays everything is going on to the cloud we are moving from on premises solution to you know the different cloud providers like aws then we have google cloud and azure well you must be aware like 60% of the market is being you know occupied by aws 
so it's like if you are just new to you know devops world so just go for aws if you are like already in this world i'll say to at least learn about any of these two the azure and the google cloud and aws is the must well anyone who wants to set up his career as a devops guy has to just follow all those things that I have told in this guide and by following all these things you can easily crack any interview but you need to work hard and learn all those topics do practicals and just watch okay guys this brings us to the end of the video if you have any queries please leave them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you at the earliest thank you for watching